Alrighty then, people, welcome back to Gerno Yobo, uh, the Earth Federation campaign. So, where we last left off, or last episode, we began to fight back for, or to try to take back Asia. Um, we're going to continue trying to do that in this episode. I don't think we're going to be able to finish it, but we should grab here, here, and possibly here. Um, we probably won't attack Japan this turn, because... These units, after this battle, they need to heal a lot, and, um, yeah. Um, and after this battle, I'm, I might also just attack Hawaii to distract them and grab, um, Japan pretty easily, but I'm probably not going to do that. Yeah, I'm just going to try to capture these four this time, and maybe Alaska, or Russia. Um, I might have mentioned it, but... I thought you were able to cross over from Russia to Alaska, but I don't think you can. Like, I've seen the enemy just magically teleport units into Russia, but I wasn't able to cross over. But yeah. Oh, and also... Um... Yeah, never mind. I have a... I have quite a few units, or quite a few pilots that aren't doing anything. Um, but I'm actually producing Gundams in Jombro, aren't I? Or no, I'm not doing that. I'm going to produce a bunch of Gundams in Jombro. And then I'll put them in those. Um. Or, no, Gundam. Okay, yeah, I did put Yazon in it. Okay. So... This episode probably won't be that long. I was able to finish it in like 19 minutes the last time I tried recording this. This is also my second time recording it because I didn't like the quality of the first time I did it. So, yeah. This battle, there's no tactics involved whatsoever. I literally, well, we literally just attack that Zaku. Yeah. He'll probably shoot at the bombers. He won't manage to destroy them. There's you. Okay. And he's probably going to attack that Medea that's right next to him. Oh, he didn't actually attack. That's good. So, I'm only going to attack with the tank this turn, because he has 13 HP left. I don't want to accidentally lose one of these guys to somebody with only 13 HP. And those tanks are almost fully healed. Yeah, we got hit once. <laughs> Did four damage. Yeah, we eliminated all enemy forces. This battle. Um, actually, I need to move the ones in the back forward as much as I can get them. We probably won't be able to win this battle, just because we won't be able to reach those Dobai fighters quick enough. Had to count for a second there. Um, let's hope this works. Yeah, I'm not actually going to attack with this white base, or thoroughbred, because they would be able to... I'm not actually attacking with either of those, because you can only have six units at once attack a unit. It's something like that. There's a limit to how many units you can have attack it. Yeah. It's just a gah, so I'm not really worried about it. That guy's actually an admiral. He commanded that Zanzibar in the end of MS-08, I think. Now we just fly in with a line of thoroughbreds. 
because you know why not. Hopefully they'll start coming towards us, because if they don't, we won't be able to reach them. Eh, damn it. Oh well. We'll end this battle this turn, and or next turn, and probably start invading Africa. Um, Kilimanjaro is one of the last bases we can take, but um, if we take out the bottom of Africa, they'll keep trying to take that instead of trying to take the two water, uh, the two sea spots. The North Atlantic and South Atlantic, and they'll start focusing on Africa, which means Jamboro will be or Jabaro will be safer. Of those four units I have in that white base, I think the Gundam's the only one that can go in the water. And uh, beam weapons don't aren't supposed to work underwater, so they do really, really low damage. So I'm not gonna send out the Gundam. Yeah, I'm just using wave tactics right now. Oh, I'm also leaving that sub back there, just because subs have a large movement range, but they don't really do much. Yeah, they're going to end up coming at me at the end of the next turn, probably. And now I can't attack. I'm also not going to be stupid and spread particles like I did last time. I spread, uh, I spread so many particles that there was like 100% protection through the whole thing. And the Dobai's attack is a lot more accurate than the white bases. So all it did is help the Dobai's attack me and make it harder for me to take them down. So, I'm not doing that. That was a really bad idea. Plus, I'm not worried about any of these are taking any real damage from those dobies. Huh, good. Yeah, we'll be able to kill him easy next turn. Not worried about it. Okay. So with this one, it's almost entirely mountain. So And then there's this one right here. Um, I'm sending the two units of tanks over to fight that one down there. And I'm going to have the thoroughbred try fighting those in the center. That's weird. That one got a more movement range than that one. But oh well. Yeah, this is a flying Zaku and a desert Zaku. They shouldn't be that hard to take out. And I'm just gonna let that Zaku come to us. Yeah, hopefully that flying Zaku will um, attack the try attacking the thoroughbred so we can move up to it. Yeah. Oh, they, that flying Zaku actually unmounted. So the truth, I was not expecting him to do that. But, even an unscanned landed Zaku is pretty easy to defeat. Of course that wouldn't work. Um, I'm not actually going to do it because I don't want him to uh, counterattack the white base and make the tanks do us damage. Yeah, that took quite a bit of damage. I, oh, I only lost a tank. I thought I lost two, but... Yeah. 
that Zaku, since it unmounted outside of a base, it has to go to a base to remount. So I'm not afraid of it running away. Or I'm completely wrong about that. Why can't mine do that? Seriously, that's like the only downside to using... Wow, I can scan from range. That's nice. It's the only downside to using those flying ones is if you unmount, you can't remount. But, you know, they can do it. Oh, well, we'll just end up having to fight that Zaku in when we attack Japan. I'm actually moving him a spot further back so he uses the made up the mega particle cannon instead. And those two tanks down there, they wouldn't be able to get far enough to be able to do anything. So I'm just gonna leave them. We eliminated all the enemy forces. Now this one... This one's e This one's easy. Pretty much all we do is send the bombers at him and follow behind in the tanks. The tanks will come in at the very end, but the bombers should be efficient to take out what they throw at us. Yeah, and right here is considered a river. Oh, can't see it from there. It's considered a river. So we have to go around it. And so instead of being able to move to there, we were only able to move to here. Finally. I was thinking that wasn't going to work. Okay. Oh wow, that happened a lot quicker than last time. Wow. We might actually be able to destroy that Zezaku before the tanks can even arrive. Or not. We did a fair bit of damage though, so... We're actually about to run out of supplies. That's interesting. It's probably because we're wasting so much energy trying to scan.
Uh, it doesn't really matter where I move to. Um, I'm not attacking with these people just because they're weak and I don't want to lose the troops. But yay, we won! Three more battles to do. Okay. They have an Aqua Zaku, two, to uh, two Dobai fighters, a normal Zaku, looks like a cannon Zaku, and two Zaku ones. But yeah, this battle's gonna be interesting just because of. I didn't bring a very good makeup of units. I brought Medeas and tanks. Yeah, um, I'm not. I'm going to move those tanks to capture that base so that the Medeas can move further and they, they don't have to deploy their tanks to capture it. Or since they're attacking in a stack, I think I'm just going to stand here and hopefully try to get them to defy, to divide themselves. And there. Um, that Zaku cannon's going to tear apart the tanks. And then, yeah. Probably that Zaku one's going to attack. That Zaku cannon's actually going further down south. Awesome. Um, we'll probably be able to reinforce this. Uh, yeah, this spot after this turn, so. There's that units up north and the units that are getting attacked in China right now. Can. Yes, they can. Wait. Yeah, this one has health. Yeah, I think it's this one. Yeah, it only has 66 health, so I'm going to actually put it in this. Or. I'm going to deploy the tanks, then stick it in that base so it can heal. That did a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, that's why. I don't even think they have Aina yet. But yeah, that's why he did so much damage. Makes a lot of sense. And didn't do as much as I thought he would. And the Zaku 2 I'm not or Zaku 1 I'm not even worried about. Yeah, I thought that was gonna happen. Damn it. I was hoping that would work. Oh well. Zaku Cannon doesn't have a close up um, plane defense, or flying defense. Oh well. So, they shouldn't be able to do much damage to that video. And also, that flying Zaku back there has a special pilot in it, too. I don't know who it is, but... Yeah, they ran away. I was hoping they would stay to fight to fight those tanks. Oh well. 
there's only one left, so he's not going to do that much damage. Or hit at all, as the case may be. Hopefully they'll be stupid and uh, either send out that Aquazaku or a couple of the Dobais to go fight my tanks. Oh wow, Medea's full health now. And Nimbus, he is the bad guy from Blue Destiny, but without the exam system, the examable suits, he's not all that good. I don't actually think he's a new type either. And, yeah, that's just a normal Zaku cannon. Shokuyaki Yeah, they did. I was hoping they would do that. I'm actually not going to do that. I'm not going to get enough hits for it to matter. Plus, that way, the health or the evasion chance is raised a little bit. And Aquazaku's on land. Oh, wow, they have head Vulcans. I didn't know that. And a single Dobai fighter against four Medeas. Hoping they get smart and run away. Because they can't even capture a base as it is. Ah, oh, they didn't run away. Poo. Yeah, I won't be able to actually destroy them this turn. Oh well. Well, these 16 troops would be useful in other places. I can survive without them for a little while. Or 12, technically. I don't think the Medeas count as troops. Oops. Almost canceled their turn. Or ended their turn. Shot down one of them. Yeah, okay, we're gonna destroy these dobies easy. easy.
Yeah, I thought that's what was gonna huh. Thought that's what was going to happen. And finally this battle. This one's really annoying. Mainly just because of that ga. It'll constantly run away. And we will have a lot of issues surrounding it. Oh. Those two got scanned. And that one can't move far enough. Neither can that one. The two tanks should be sufficient in taking one of these down. Um, what weapon does it have? Oh, bazooka. That's different. Okay, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out these three Zakus, then that. i um, going to send these two uh, Medeas to chase after this Ga. And possibly take out this Zaku, depending on when they reach the Ga. And yeah, it looks like the Zakus are running out of energy. They did a lot of damage because they were using rocket launchers, but nothing we can't take. Oh, I was actually hoping we'd destroy them, but oh well. I think they're out of... I don't think they can attack anyone else. Or they can. Um... How much... Okay, full health. Okay. Okay, so since I can attack this Ga, I'm going to avoid, or not avoid, I'm going to deploy the units on these two, and then... Damn it. How do you not. How do you misscan a ga? The thing's like bigger than you are. Okay, but yeah. Magellan tanks, they're not all that tough. Um, when you destroy them in this one, they don't break into the top and bottom units like they do in SD Gundam. So they're pretty easy to manage. Huh, and scanned it. Anyone know who this guy is? I don't. They're probably gonna attack that bomber and um, fighter combo. Lost three tanks. And doesn't even have enough um, supplies to attack back. Yeah, he had 12. He could do a melee attack with that. Oh. Oh, well. We didn't destroy him, but we got really close. We lost a unit, though. Or, no, we didn't. We took some damage, but...
Okay, and we're gonna send the bombers to harass the Gaw, since I don't think any of the tanks can reach it. Can they? No. So, loading you up, loading you up, loading you, and loading you, and I'm gonna send them to go take out that Zaku. Ooh, that Zaku, or that Medea is actually in, in trouble, but... I don't think it'll do very much, or I don't think it'll get destroyed, it'll just get pretty badly hurt. I'm really worried about taking out that Ga right now. I don't know if we'll be able to. Huh, we lost the bomber, but we took out the Ga in the end. Ah, attack the other one. Hey, kitty. What, you want to treat? Oh, sorry. And there's no one in there, so we don't really have to worry about them. That should be enough to destroy him. Or not. But that was only like turn four, so I'm not really worried. Er, I think we can take him out. Oh. Shit. Well, it's only one guy. Dead 48 damage. Yeah, he's running away now. Same thing with this one. Um, we're going to blow the ever-loving crap out of him. And that's this battle one. Tekibutai-no-senmetsu-ni-seikou-shimashita. Okay, so the place they were developing... Oh, okay, the place they were developing the V program got raided or attacked by Xeon. So they needed a safer place, so Tem Ray suggested they moved it to side seven. They move it to side seven. Which Um, I'm actually gonna do that. It's you get a better GM for not doing it, but you don't get um the Amaro custom OS near the end of the war, so you don't get the special GM. RX series they're moving the development program to side 7. Um, you don't get the armor array special um, operating system if you don't do that. So I'm doing it. Well, first of all, I need to remember to prepare everyone. So 
So yeah, it's um, you get a better jam quicker if you don't move it, but if you do move it, you get the better one near the end. Yeah, I did click that. Um, I'm actually leaving the white base there just for when we attack J Japan. Um, these guys down. These guys over. These guys to Japan, or these guys to China for the attack on Japan. So now our front is over here and here. Um, I we might actually push in after we conquer Hawaii. I might push in, try grabbing here, here, and here just to make. Um, we can surround Kilimanjaro and it'll be easier. Yeah, the only problem is Odessa. We're about 20 turns away from being able to capture it, so we're just gonna have to leave units here. Um, and what are a bunch of gun cannons? Here, I think there's a bunch. There's a couple of empty Medeas. Um. Yeah. What do I have in here? Oh. A ball. I'm not actually going to be using... I'm going to try conquering the planet before I go for space. So yeah, I'm going to try conquering the planet before I go for space. So I don't need this ball just yet. Plus we should get the better version of them by the time we're in space. Yeah, I did all that, did all that. So that'll be the end of this episode.